Hello all you Ketonians out there. This is Dr. Adam Nally. I'm a board certified family physician and a board certified uh, obesity medicine specialist uh, or a fat doctor. Um, I thought I would come to you live on Facebook this evening and talk to you a little bit about some questions that arose uh, as I was at an obesity conference in Chicago over the weekend. Um, got back and, and as I was flying home on the plane, decided I would write down um, all of the reasons uh, that ketosis is beneficial other than fat burning or, or weight loss. Uh, one of the doctors actually asked me that question, so I thought I'd just pop this up here on the screen. And uh, why would you want to be in ketosis other than to lose fat? I had a number of people walk up and say, hey, I, I, I like my weight. Why would I want to be in ketosis for any other reason? So as I started brainstorming about all the journal articles I've read and, and all the benefits that ketosis uh, give and, and what it ends up giving, I thought I would write them down. And so I'm going to re look at a list here. And what I thought I would do over the next 25 days is address each one of these each day um, and talk about what are the benefits in a, in a quick, quick little four minute segment. So this is going to be kind of the overview of those 25. And then over the, so keep uh, posted each day and we'll uh, hear it uh, on uh, at, uh, Dr. Adam Nally on my Facebook page and I'll give you uh, the reasons that you uh, w that you would want to be in ketosis other than to lose weight or to burn fat. Now burning fat is great. Everybody wants to do that and when you're in a ketogenic state, either from a ketogenic diet or, uh, or in combination with the use of exogenous ketones, you'll actually find that that does help in fat burning. That's what I see clinically in my office on a daily basis and I've seen with myself uh, and with members of my family. So let me go through this list uh, real quickly and just kind of give you the 25 things we're going to talk about over the next few days uh, and what uh, to expect w from ketosis. So uh, pretty profound and I'll, I'll, I'll talk to you about that right now. So number one, dramatic decrease in inflammation. I see that every day and that's because of the way the ketone affects the NLRP3 inflammasome. Now that's a big long word um, and we'll talk about that in our next, vi in our next video. Number two, ketones affect GLP. Uh, this is a hormone produced by the gut uh, and it, it modulates the way GLP works and it actually decreases uh, hunger and, and, and increases satiety. Number th three, uh, it affects uh, uh, protein YY and uh, CCK in the, in the gut. We'll talk about how that works. Uh, number four, uh, it affects glucagon. Uh, the ketogenic diet shifts the way the body handles glucagon use, and um, that's where protein plays a role, and that's where the argument between am I taking in too much protein or not enough protein, is, is protein causing gluconeogenesis to kick in, uh, and it's all, it's all modulated by ketones, and we'll talk about the research in that. Number five, uh, ketones stimulate uh, cyclic GMP inside the fat cell and damper down the, use, the, the effect of cyclic AMP uh, when ketones predominate dominate, so that's something to think about. Number six, uh, ke ketones affect testosterone. They actually improve testosterone's viability within the bloodstream. Number seven, uh, it, it improves the, the presence of leucine. Number eight, it increases atrial natriuretic peptide, which increases the squeezing capacity of the cell and helps those in heart failure. Number nine, uh, it, it also, because it modulates the, NR, uh, the NLRP3 inflammasome, it has some other effects on the brain. We'll talk about that. Number 10, it suppresses catabolism or muscle breakdown or sarcopenia or loss of muscle uh, in a starvation state. That's why if you're in ketosis but you're not eating, you'll actually see retention of muscle. Uh, number 11, it stimulates the HEP1 and HEP2 receptors in the liver, and that has a whole impact on genetics, which is pretty profound. Number 12, it changes the, N, uh, the potassium sodium ATPase function in the kidney, which allows you to dump sodium and not retain sodium and swell. That's why people on a ketogenic diet uh, lose excess uh, water weight and those that are eating a high carb low fat diet retain water and you have to watch out for the salt um, so that's that's where that happens uh, number 13 uh, it affects uh, in increased insulin uh, dampering down the ketosis actually increases uh, thyroid uh, releasing hormone and TSH and affects the, the thyroid itself and dampers thyroid function affects that thyroid axis number 14 um, Ketones regulate uh, the MCT receptors uh, at multiple levels throughout the body and the brain and the, at, the, at the cell level, and that has a whole slew of effects, both on fat retention or fat loss. Um, number 15, it affects how catecholamines are used in the fat cell. Number 16, uh, it affects ketones actually act as signaling molecules, not just as... Um, fuel so it actually turns on and off histones which are the genetic coding pieces between uh codes in the dna number 17 ketones modulate pain i'm gonna actually talk about that this weekend at uh, uh low carb kansas city uh, number 18 there's a push-pull effect of ketones on glucose fruit and fructose and insulin glucon and glucagon we'll talk about that number 19 uh, ketones helps to stabilize gut bacteria through the, the effect on butyrate and hydroxy beta hydroxybutyrate present uh, number 20 uh uh, probiotic effects are, occur when you use uh, beta-hydroxybutyrate and butyrate. Number 21, um, 
the importance of sodium, potassium, and magnesium on, on zinc play a big role when you're following a, a ketogenic diet, and we'll talk about that. Number 22, uh, the protein L-serine has an effect on, um, uh, on the brain and, so, and some, in some cases Alzheimer's and Parkinson's, and how does ketone affect that? Number 23, uh, the uh, uh, how do branch chain amino acids get affected by the presence of ketone? Number 24, uh, ADD and Asperger's seem to have some clinical effects, of effects when in, the, in a ketogenic state. We'll talk about why that works. And lastly, uh, ketosis or, or ketones actually improve um, symptoms of mo uh, multiple sclerosis and Parkinson's. And I've actually written a blog post on that, but we'll go back and we'll talk about that. So those are the 25 or the 26 reasons that you'd want to have a higher level of ketones in your system or nutritional ketosis in your system over glucose. I will talk about those over the next 25 days. So you better stay tuned. Check out docmuscles.com. That's my website. And if you're looking for how to increase your ketone level, you want to go to dynamicketones.com. That's where you can look for, you can get your own ketones. This is Dr. Adam Nally. Again, I'm a board-certified family physician and a, an obesity medicine specialist or a fat doctor. Uh, and I hope you enjoy these little short videos I do. Stay tuned over the next 25 days because we're going to give you the, the nuts and bolts of why ketones are important other than fat loss. So have a great evening and, we'll, and uh, have a great week. Talk to you later. Bye-bye.